Good evening guys, this is Dr. Gale, Dr. Paul. Once again, thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. Today I want to talk a few minutes about uh, HELP syndrome. HELP syndrome, as the name says, is characterized by hemolysis, elevated liver enzymes, and low platelet count. So HELP, hemolysis, elevated liver enzymes, and low platelet count. The incidence is like one to two per every thousand pregnancies. That is uh, 10 to 20 percent of uh, patients with severe eclampsia or eclampsia are affected by this. And it is most commonly seen between 28 and 36 weeks of gestation. You remember that between 28 and 36 weeks of gestation is the most common time of presentation. Now coming to the symptoms, the most common symptom is abdominal pain located in the right upper quadrant or below the sternum. Patients also complain of nausea, vomiting, malaise, hypertension like blood pressure going above 140 by 90 and they can also develop uh, proteinuria in their urine. So the diagnostic criteria is very important. The simple way to remember is help. What is it stands for? Hemolysis. So there is a hemolysis, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia with characteristic cystocytes, also called helmet cells on blood smear. So to diagnose this condition, you need to see hemolysis. For hemolysis, you need a blood smear, right? Then it is low platelet count. It's elevated liver enzymes, so liver enzymes, AST, ALT, LDH, these are elevated. And because of hemolysis, indirect bilirubin is elevated. Then finally, low platelet count. So you see a, a CBC and you find low platelet count in these patients. And when the patients develop a hepatic infarction or hematoma or rupture, we go for other scannings like a CT or MRI. And the diagnostic, uh, diagnostic biopsy of liver when there is acute liver failure. So that is about di diagnosis. Now let us talk a few minutes about uh, uh, treatment. The most important thing is to stabilize the mother then to assess the fatal condition and to decide whether prompt delivery is indicated. The cornerstone, the most important thing in treatment is delivery. If the patient is uh, pregnant like uh, th more than 34 weeks and if the fatal biophysical profile or fatal heart rate, they are very uh, uh, assuring, then you can wait for some time. But if the patient is uh, like uh, the, the fatal profile is non reassuring and if the patient is more than 34 weeks then you go for straight for uh, uh, delivery and you treat hypertension just like we do in preeclampsia and eclampsia using medications like labetalol, hydrolazine and uh, nifedipine and in severe cases you can go for uh, sodium nitroprusside and you remember magnesium sulfate is given intravenously to prevent convulsions. So magnesium sulfate has a very, very important role here. Then low platelet count. You see low platelet count causes significant uh, maternal bleeding. So we give platelet transfusion to these patients. Platelet count when it falls below like 20,000 cells per microliter, then we transfuse these patients. And if the pregnancy is less than 34 weeks and if the fatal status is reassuring, then you would give glucocorticoids before delivering pregnancies complicated by health syndrome. You see, you see, you, you give glucocorticoids, but you should not wait more than 48 hours in any case. So that those are the most important things you need to remember. But you see, ultimately, these patients can develop complications like subcapsular hematoma and uh, retinal detachment and uh, preeclampsia and eclampsia and all those things. So that's about HELP syndrome. 
let me recapitulate. HELP syndrome is basically hemolysis with microangiopathic blood smear, elevated liver enzymes, and low platelet count. So just remember the abbreviated form of it. And it affects like one or two per every thousand pregnancies, mostly between 28 and 36 weeks of pregnancy. So that is the time frame between 28 and 30 six weeks of uh, pregnancy and the other thing you need to remember is the most common clinical manifestations the most common clinical manifestations are uh, as i said abdominal pain mostly uh, in the right upper quadrant or below the sternum and uh, you patients can also develop nausea and vomiting uh, those kinds of symptoms. sometimes that uh, abdominal pain can be referred to as the shoulder pain and patients can develop hypertension and these women you have to diagnose the condition and remember the help so hemolysis what do you need to order a peripheral blood smear for elevated liver enzymes you need to order lfts for low platelet count you need to order a cbc and then for the uh, management you should always uh, the cornerstone of therapy is delivery delivery is the most important thing you need to remember and uh, if there is a, if the patient's gestation age is less than like 34 weeks and if the fetus is reassuring the biophysical profile is good then you give them a dose of a glucocorticoid, uh, glucocorticoids and you assess them continuously from that point onwards and you treat the hypertension with uh, hypertension medications common hypertension medications and uh, uh, magnesium sulfate to prevent convulsions the idea is to prevent uh, the progression into preeclampsia and eclampsia. So, and finally, uh, most of these patients, HELP syndrome patients, they recover well, but many of them might develop uh, other complications like eclampsia, preeclampsia, uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation, and uh, maternal death, fatal death and uh, uh, retinal detachment these kinds of uh, complications are common and you remember those things and uh, that helps you a lot okay and visit us at uh, www.usmlvideos.net we describe and discuss only the most important things for this examination so if you take a few minutes every day and watch our videos on usmlvideos.net you will get lot of more important points all free of cost those of you who are taking clinical skills examination i recommend a usmle smasher usmle smasher is uh, an excellent book and many of you have been taking uh, courses which are very very expensive but this book has like uh, two uh, complete uh, uh, paragraphs like uh, on one way on one side you see doctor patient communication on the other side you say what is uh, so important about uh, that uh, communication point so this book USML smasher is available on um, uh, Amazon and Exlibris or Barnes and Noble and get your copy and uh, study it and I assure you that you will pass your examination with uh, flying colors and this is Dr. Paul and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you.